all right welcome guys here we go right now we want to create um, we want to write the functions that create an individual and create a population so create individual what does it do create individual needs to create an individual based on the number of genes of that individual and the gene ranges and an individual is going to be a list a list of genes so okay let, let's uh, I'll just code it and and we explain as we go along so initially the individual is an empty list and now for each gene we want to assign a random value um, that falls within the range of that particular gene so just to show you how this uh, n genes and gene ranges look like so n genes is simply it's, it's simply an integer we're gonna say 4 and gene ranges is a list of tuples and each tuple uh, is a list of four tuples each tuple uh, being the range of values for each of those genes so if uh, our problem we want to optimize the RSI length the BB length and the RSI overbought and oversold then we can sort of figure out the values uh, the range is quite easily for RSI length we said we don't want anything less than 3 and we don't want anything uh, more than 100 so 3 and 100 is going to be the range for Bollinger Bands uh, I have no idea actually um, probably somewhere quite similar um, I'm gonna say 3 here although it seems a little bit small and uh, I'm also gonna say uh, I don't know 80 70 yeah just leave it 70 and uh, for overbought and oversold levels so we know that this um, this the RSI is between 0 and 100 and generally uh, oversold is above well normally oversold is 70 and overbought is 30 or is the other way around but uh, but anyway uh, one of them is between 0 and 50 and another one is between 50 and 100 so that's that's the important bit 50 and 100 and 0 and 50 I might have mixed them up, uh, but that's okay. We'll, as we go along, we'll we'll fix it if we need to. So now, knowing how uh, this chain ranges looks like, we can randomly generate each of the genes. Uh, okay, so we actually want to import. So we want a random integer between a random integer between these ranges and we're gonna do that for all, all the genes and append um, the genes uh, to the individual. And in the end, we return the individual. Next, creating a population is quite easy. We're going to create um, population size individuals. That's it. Bam! That's it. In our next video, we're going to write the mating function and and we're going to write the the mutating functions. Stay tuned.